So the question here is going to be, what about uh, Russia supporters, the countries, Belarus, Pakistan, maybe someone else? Um, how's that going to work out? So I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, come on, subscribe. It helps. And uh, thank you very much. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with me. Those, com those uh, countries that are falling in line with Russia and just following their lead, I mean, they don't have any other choice, I suppose, but it's a fair question. What about those companies? What effect is all of this, this invented uh, war, these war crimes, what effect is this going to have on those countries that are supporting uh, Russia? And now we can throw China into the mix, probably. Okay, so this is another question from Linda Joe. And um, thank you so much for asking the question. And uh, the effects on Russia supporters, Belarus, Pakistan, any others, um, what effect will this uh, situation in uh, Crimea have on Russia's supporters? So let's see how that works out. So uh, this uh, Japaritsa deck is uh, uh, created by a woman from uh, Georgia, the uh, uh, of Georgia, uh, formerly the Soviet Union, and... Um, in Europe. So the very appropriate uh, deck of cards, amazing. Um, so the effect on Russia's supporters, this whole event that's going on. First, of course, let's take a moment of meditation. effect on Russia's supporters regarding this uh, conflict that uh, Russia has initiated with, uh, the, with Ukraine. Empress. Interesting. Don't know how to interpret that. Could be just my clumsiness is the best interpretation, but it's funny that it's the Empress and it makes you think immediately of uh, Russia. The effect the six cards towards a full Celtic cross, probably. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. The effect on Russia's supporters, the situation that's going on that Russia has uh, found themselves in or initiated themselves into. Signifier card for that, the effect on the supporters, King of Tides. Uh, tides are cups, and that's his emotion. So this is very emotional. This is as high as you can get in a suit of cards uh, of for emotions. The King of Tides, the King of Cups, the King of Emotions. It's going to be a very emotional um, significance to those people, uh, those countries supporting Russia. The challenge to it is this Queen of Fire. Fire is actions, wands, forward movement, plans. The queen is very high in that uh, fire suit, that uh, wands suit. And so the finding this, um, this ultimate uh, king of compassion is challenged by this queen of fire, this vengeful queen of uh, wands. The uh, base of this reading then, secrets being revealed, the moon. Couldn't be more perfect. Yeah, lots of secrets are coming out now, and uh, it's being revealed to uh, all these the peoples of these countries. All these secrets are coming out. The past of this reading is Seven of Fire. So the Seven of Wands is uh, typically uh, finding yourself challenged, and you couldn't be more challenged than this fellow is. Wands, again, are action plans, forward movement, fire, in fact. And so the Seven of Fire, the Seven of Wands, is typically depicted uh, in a uh, Rider Waite deck, but I fell up on a mountaintop, uh, fighting off or fending off some other plans, other wands that are poking up at him. And uh, so this what's happening here. This fellow has one big wand uh, up his back and uh, and facing all of these uh, this fire around him, all those other six, seven of wands. Uh, in the sky, this reading uh, for, and the question being, what about Russia's supporters? Is the six of tides. So the six of cups is uh, remembering how things were in the past. <laughs> Could be a couple things. Could be remembering uh, how things were before they knew what was actually going on. 
or uh, maybe remembering a time in their specific countries, the countries of these supporters, when things were uh, more innocent, simpler. Um, the likely outcome of this, then, three of fire, uh, three of wands. And this is long-term planning, you know, setting sail for some long journey, looking way ahead into the future, uh, over the landscape of what's going on. And so uh, the effect on the Russia supporters uh, is uh, seeing that landscape below from above, getting a bird's eye view, a 30,000 feet in the air view of what's really happening and what they're a part of, perhaps. Let's do uh, four more cards. So what about Russia's supporters? How is this uh, going to come out in the cards for them? The signifier card of that question, what about Russia's supporters, is the Jester of Gardens. Uh, gardens are pinnacles. Uh, the Jester would be the page. And so this is the page of pinnacles, the very least important of the court cards. But remember, he's carrying value. He's carrying pinnacles. He's carrying worth. And he's bringing that to the uh, court to say, what about this? Jester of Pentacles. It's in the environment of, ah, uh, yeah, Five of Fire. Typically, this um, Five of Wands is depicted as, a, as some people having kind of a pointless battle. In this deck, it's very serious. This ba battle that uh, won't necessarily come to an agreement, okay, in those uh, Five of Wands. But this, in this Five of Fire, it's, it's a deadly um, encounter. The hopes and the fears, then, is this Ace of Gardens, a great big valuable plan. Gardens are pinnacles, and the Ace is the Ace of Pinnacles, the Ace of Gardens, a great big valuable realization, perhaps. Likely outcome of everything for this, uh, the, the supporters, ah, the devil, being chained to ill intention. And that's how it works, actually, because our governments are guided by the human of... Uh, sometimes flawed uh, politicians that make the decisions for all of us, uh, chained almost always to some kind of lesser intention. So it's sad. We'll read it again. Uh, what about the people, the countries that support uh, Russia, the supporters of Russia? Well, the King of Tides. This King of Emotion is, is going to come forward, but he's going to be challenged by this Queen of Fire. And a Queen of Fire can be very, but this King of Tides can quench that Queen of Fire, Queen of Wands. The base of this reading is the moon secrets coming out? Past this reading is the seven of fire having uh, having had to fend off those plans. The sky of this reading remembering when things were simpler, kinder, uh, gentler. The likely outcome of the first part of this is getting that bird's eye view of the uh, this three of wands, this three of fire, getting that bird's eye view of the landscape and and really being able to see everything, not just your little piece of the puzzle, your little piece of the world. The uh, uh, self of that question, gesture of gardens, yeah, this is the very most valuable, but it's just coming to us in the very weakest form. It's the most valuable message coming to us in almost a joking, uh, uh, comical manner. And is, that's in the environment of this five of fire, um, you know, this endless, pointless uh, plans arguing. Uh, hopes and the fears, this ace of gardens, the hope is that you find the cherished, most important, largest value of the situation. But the final outcome then is the devil being chained to lesser intentions. And sadly, that is what leads so many of our countries. Um, so that's what we have. Well, thank you so much for, for staying through the, to the end of the video. I really love uh, that you send me these questions, and uh, I hope uh, that some of them hit home with you, or uh, even your own uh, interpretations are valid. So let me know what you think. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So this Japaridze tarot is amazing. They're by Nino Japaridze. Now, she's a Georgian artist. Georgia, not the United States. Georgia, Europe. Uh, and um, so these are beautiful. Even the, the packaging is wonderful. It's shiny and glossy. It's a nice, you know, if you gave this as a gift, you'd feel like, wow, that was a really nice gift. The guidebook is so amazing. The text in this guidebook is by someone named Steve Lucas. And uh, his story is interesting, and it kind of goes over that in, in the guidebook, how he came to know her. And uh, he's a fellow a couple years uh, younger than me, lives in New York. Uh, an art uh, enthusiast and gallery owner, and he happened to meet uh, Nino, as a matter of fact, uh, on a uh, trip to Paris about 2008, I think it was, where they uh, he she was exhibiting her art, which I understand she's been doing for years, I mean, since she was a child, and um, 
And so they came to an agreement that she would do uh, some depictions of the major arcana about six months down the road. That was about finished. And he, he talked to her about doing the rest of the cards. That took about another year. So she's probably got two years into the, all of these are full size, whatever full size is for her paintings. And uh, I can imagine that anybody would love having uh, some of these uh, works of art uh, in their home framed. Um, and they certainly exist somewhere. So I like to, to um, spread these cards out like this so that uh, if you don't look at cards very often, you can get a sense of what a whole pack looks like. And um, and the only difficulty with cards like these, this kind of surrealist art, is that you really need to know uh, what your divination of the uh, Rider weight system is going to be. So they're beautiful cards, and I love using them. Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.